With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. Hello and welcome to another Super Booth Home Edition video from us at Sonic State. Uh, we're going back across the Atlantic to uh, Brooklyn, New York, Brooklyn, where we're talking to uh, Peter from uh, Roland. Uh, how you doing, Peter? I'm doing pretty well. Just uh, in quarantine, keeping myself occupied. But uh, yeah, doing, doing great. Excellent. Well, Peter is uh, going to show us a little bit about the Roland MC707, uh, which had an OS update recently. Uh, this is the sort of Groovebox. Uh, it's the new Groovebox series from uh, Roland. I think they released in September. Uh, due to the technical limitations we're dealing with, uh, obviously everything's a bit impromptu at the moment. Uh, Peter's going to. We're going to have a little bit of a chat, and then Peter's going to show us the uh, the new features from the firmware 1.3 stuff. So, uh, but first of all, I mean, again, Roland are doing the. Uh, um, a cloud academy they're expanding this into the mc series as well right yeah we just finished a curriculum for the mc group box line so that's available right now uh in addition to a phantom curriculum um it's free for people that are registered uh at roland and you don't have to buy a product new to access the information um but uh, it's a really great resource for anybody that's curious about roland products or that uh bought it and then want some in-person real-time training on how to use it right so people can i guess well it's like a seminar sort of uh, format where you know a bunch of people can join a product specialist and they will show them the cool things uh beginners advanced and that sort of stuff like like like, like they're doing for the phantom i spoke with ed earlier yeah, exactly. I mean, it's all real time. It's all people that are either Roland ambassadors or product specialists from Roland. Uh, the class sizes are pretty small, normally about between 10 to 15 people. Um, and there's chat functions so that instructors are able to answer questions in real time. Nothing's pre-recorded, So it's a very much more organic experience, I would say. Oh, that sounds good. So how do people get to do that then? So they just have to go to Roland, right? And what, register? What? How does it work? Yeah, well, we could provide a registration link uh, to post, or you could just go to our website to access the Roland Cloud Academy page, and then you should be able to register and get access. So you just register at the site. You don't have to actually register a specific product. Well, no. Well, if you want to register a product, it doesn't have to be like a newly purchased product. So if you wanted to uh, buy something used from a friend, we can still provide the service for you. We're not limiting it to new product oh. owners. Uh, so that's kind of a, a, a unique thing because it's not necessarily something that, you know, we want to limit towards just new product owners. It's something that we want to show people that are even curious about rolling products. So All right, cool. um, we're all able to register for it. So I noticed in the notes that uh, uh, Roland sent me, there's also a three and a half hour video manual for the MC707, which should maybe get you started as well, right? Yeah, yeah, that was uh, Dustin Good, who's our, our Canadian uh, product manager. He uh, really did us a solid and filmed like three over three hours worth of MC stuff because the 707 especially is is the deepest groove box in the category in terms of sound en engine uh, sequencing power. It's it's a really really in depth machine. Um, and it really kind of justifies the three hour length time that gives people plenty of opportunity to learn all about it. Excellent. So um, I guess the thing, I mean, I, I guess you, you you must be using it a lot yourself. So the, there's also firmware 3.1.3. Uh, and I think, you know, this is something that you're going to demonstrate separately, but perhaps you could just give us uh, a, a flavor of what's been updated and then obviously demonstrate them. And, uh, and we'll edit that onto the beginning of this video, which we're shooting now. <laughs> <laughs> great. Yeah. The 1.3 uh, update is really great because it adds a lot of like larger features. The MC team has been paying attention a lot to the uh, community of MC owners in terms of where they should take the product, how, what features to implement, that type of thing. Uh, so we implemented things like uh, clip chain, which lets you structure and order clips in a custom way so that you yeah. can create songs or uh, longer sections. There's also uh, audio mixer mode that you can set the channels to be actual external audio channels routed into the uh, MFX path as well. So you can do things like route a boutique synthesizer into the MC707, have it come up on a channel, and then also send it to the reverb that's coming in uh, that uh, the MC707 has. There's also a lot of GUI improvements too, like uh, step LFO editor, um and the uh, motion automation drawer as well so there's a bunch of different types of updates but uh those are the big ones 
Oh, brilliant. Well, I look forward to seeing that. So uh, I'll, I'll, over to you and you can take it away. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, t- uh, let's check it out. Hi, Nick. Thanks again for having me do the MC707 update video. Uh, it's an interesting situation, obviously, because I have my laptop on the top shelf. The iPhone is capturing the faceplate of the MC707, and then I have an also much nicer camera capturing the side, but is precariously placed on, uh, on, uh, on my desk here. So hopefully it all goes, uh, all goes on without a hitch. And uh, let's take a look at some of the update features for the MC707. So the MC707 obviously is our flagship Groovebox product. It has everything that you need inside of it to start creating music and create full tracks. Uh, we've also been working with the community a lot on uh, prioritizing what features to add based on the feedback that we get. So this, uh, this latest update adds things like clip chaining, where I can chain clips to form uh, song sections and things like that. There's also note repeat added for drums. There's uh, motion drawer, which is like an automation drawer and uh, a bunch of other things. So let's kind of check out the, the, the main ones here. So I have a sequence that I can play now and we can hear it. So let's take that synth lead this one right here and go to the uh, edit step page, pick the knob that we want to automate. So in this case, I want to do the filter knob. I'm going to go into function and then uh, normally we just have motion designer, which is like uh, attaching LFOs to different parameters. But if I mouse or if I click over now, I could see the motion drawer page and I can pick the uh, place in time that I want to edit. So. I want to edit at the start of the bar, assign a value to it so I can press enter, uh, put in a value, go deeper into the section, add some more here. You can see it starts to draw it out. Uh, I can change the zoom level as well to cover more ground. Let's go right here, add something like this. You know, just kind of showing all the shapes that you can do for a lot more detailed of, uh, uh, of editing for your motion data. So let's take a listen to it now. So now it's automated according to this graphic here. And if I want to get rid of it, I can just delete it like normal. and then draw something else. So another thing that we can do now, let's take this drum pattern. If I hold the chord button, I can see these different time divisions displayed on the sequencer right here. And that's the uh, uh, quickness of the repeat. So I can press and hold whatever drum I want and then change the rate. And that's, that's able to get recorded onto the sequence. So it's really good for layering some complex stuff very quickly, or it could be used as a performance type of effect. So another thing that we've added is the ability to take external audio and bring it into the MC707 as a mixer. And this can be done now on the track setting page. So I can go to the top of the track here, press enter, and now you, you'll see something that says audio insert. And I can pick the jack that I want to pipe to this channel, channel eight. And uh, I actually have a SH01A off to the, uh, off to the right here. Uh, so I'm just gonna play a basic sequence on that and then fade up the, the fader right here. And it's coming into the MC707. Now there's a bunch of cool things that you can do with it. So if I go to the uh, tone edit page, it'll pop in basically right before the MFX selection. So that means I can have access to all the effects that are on the MC707 with this external audio. So I can take this um, SH-01A and then put the Arduino 106 course on it. And it sounds pretty cool.
and then the effect sends work as well, so I can set it to my sound effects. Send it to the delay, reverb, whatever I want. And then it'll run through the master effect chain as well. So I have access to all of that, uh, coming up with a really kind of um, glued together type of sound. So this is perfect for live performance. If I'm playing a live set and I have more gear that I want to incorporate into the MC-707, it becomes a lot more of a centerpiece there. So I can uh, have different, you know, my favorite types of synthesizers, doesn't necessarily have to be Roland synths, uh, playing alongside going into the MC-707 and basically controlling everything from, uh, from the top panel here. Another GUI improvement that we made was the addition of a step LFO editor uh, that lets you visualize exactly what the LFO curves are and what exactly you're doing. It makes it a lot easier to create a lot of animated sounds out of static things like pads or pretty much whatever you want to apply it to. So uh, to get there, let's fade up the sequence here. Let's take this synth line again, go to the LFO page, and if it's set to step, I can hit enter and then I can see a whole system where I can change the uh, automation curves. And for this, let's apply it to the cutoff. And I can change the rate of playback for everything so I can make it really slow. or very fast. And it sounds really cool. I mean, you can put it on pretty much anything and uh, have access to a bunch of different types of shapes that you can manipulate both in positive and negative ranges and uh, come up with some really cool uh, effects that way. Uh, other things, I mean, there's a bunch of uh, little things that we've improved, but uh, there's also things like MIDI uh, channel auto select. So if I have a an external keyboard routed to the MC-707, I can set uh, auto channel to put uh, the MIDI track onto whatever I have selected. So it makes layering parts really easier without having to change the channel on the controller side. Uh, also freeing up different MIDI CC messages for the knobs as well makes it super convenient to use as an external controller. So all of these topics can be covered either on our Roland Academy courses or the over three hour MC707 video manual that we made going into the detail of all sorts of features on the, on the MC707. We're bolstering a lot of the uh, Roland Cloud curriculum with really great opportunities to get real-time tutoring and information from Roland ambassadors and Roland product specialists. It's all real-time, nothing's pre-recorded. It's a great way to get to know a piece of gear, even if you're not an owner of one and you want to find out more about it and ask pointed questions. It's a great avenue for that, that you wouldn't really get the same amount of intimacy if we just posted a video and then had to respond to YouTube comments or something like that. Also, we're uploading a lot of downloadable sound packs as well. We're in the process of creating a bunch of new material that will be uh, Zencore compatible. And Zencore is our uh, kind of audio engine that's used to build the MC7 707 in addition to all the other products. You can expect to see a lot of things like patch cross compatibility. If you really want to take some sounds that you made on say the Phantom synth and use it on the MC707 synth, that's all going to be incorporated into the whole Zen Core experience. So there's a lot of stuff that we have planned and we're not done with updating the uh, MC707 specifically yet. There's still a bunch of things that we want to try and do with it. And we're also always listening to the community for uh, important features and feedback. So thanks for having us involved in our virtual super booth uh, video. I know it's kind of an interesting situation for everybody, but I'm really happy that uh, we're able to kind of get together and talk about gear like this. So thanks a lot and uh, talk to you soon.